Oh, yes, sir. What the f Oh, my God. A ribbon fish? Is that the junk That's, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna eat it? I'm gonna do a catch, clean, and cook ribbon fish. A catch, clean, and cook ribbon fish. I'm gonna do a catch, clean, and cook ribbon fish. Do a catch, clean, and cook ribbon fish. I swear he feels like he's on there. Another one. I see. You see it? You see it, dude? Catch, clean, and cook ribbon fish. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? All right, what's up, Adventure Bros? Here we are today with one of the weirdest fish in the sea. Check this guy out. Oh my goodness. All right, bros, so we just went flounder fishing and I caught five of these guys back to back to back to back. This was the first and the biggest one that I caught, so I just decided, why not do a strange catch, clean, and cook. So I've eaten these before. Uh, they're a very strange looking fish, very off-putting for most people when they look at them. But once you put it in the pan and season it up, fry it, man, I'm telling you, these are really good fish. So what we're gonna be doing today is showing you how to clean them uh, two different ways. Either you're going to fillet it off because this one's pretty big, so I can get a pretty good fillet. And you'll be surprised at how much meat comes off of there. Or for these little ones over here, we're just gonna take them and chop them down into little pieces. So let's go ahead and show you the fillet. And what I like to do is, this is just a cheap tsunami blade. I like these blades because they're pretty sharp when they're brand new, but they're very, very thin. So this is the type of blade that you want for this type of fish. You're gonna fillet it like any other fish. You're gonna come in behind the head and just make sure you get right along that backbone. Right along that bone and you keep going. Now guys, this is a long fish to fillet. So you're gonna go all the way down. Make sure you just stay above that rib cage or stay above that backbone, you can go through it. The bones on these fish are pretty delicate. But you're just gonna keep working all the way down. That's the piece of meat that you get. So we're gonna come in and cut out all of these parts of the rib cage right here. So that's gonna be going to the trash and there you go you got a ribbon fish fillet we're gonna leave that skin on and i'll tell you why in a second all right i'm gonna do the other side and then we'll get on to the other way of cleaning them show you the second way of cleaning it just get you a pair of shears a pair of scissors we're gonna snip this end at the tail now either you can choose to eat this or you can just throw it away and what we're gonna do is cut about an inch in so we're gonna be, be making little squares of ribbon fish and yes I'm leaving the fins on all my country folk back in Louisiana would appreciate that greatly because they say the fins are the best part. So this is gonna be as far as I cut into it. You can start to see that that's where the guts are. So for these last few pieces that I, I got and where the guts are, I'm gonna go through and cut out in there. I'm gonna run my finger inside, clean that out run it under some water and make sure it's good and clean and then I'll fry them up that way. But 
as you can see, these are gonna be just little pieces, just little tiny little morsels, and we're gonna cut them up and eat them. All right, so I'm gonna clean the rest of these and then get to the pan. All right, bros. Now hopefully you've made it to this part of the video because this is something very weird. All we're gonna do is salt this thing, these fillets up with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Knock some on there too. And guys, the perfect way to cook these are just to throw them in the oil. And I'm gonna tell you like this guy told me at the Freeport Jetties. He said, fry them up until they're the color of your skin. So when they're this color, that's when they're done, all right? So we're gonna put a few in there. I'm gonna let them fry up, let them crisp up. We're gonna fry the hell out of them. And he said, let them go until they're the color of your skin. While they're doing their thing and browning up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few in this batter just to lightly batter them and see how they turn out. Nothing too crazy, just a light battering. on these guys see how how black they've gotten they haven't gotten very black at all they need to go see this guy he's almost there he's almost there how you want it to look, okay? They're still sizzling. We're gonna put them down and finish the rest of them off. All right, bros, check this guy out. Would you say that he's almost the color of my skin? That's good enough. So we're gonna take these off. And whoa, whoa, buddy. We almost had a, we almost had a fire. We're gonna take these off and then give them the good old taste test. All right, we're about to get down and boogie with these ribbon fish. All right, so let's see how this is. And here we go. So bros, I'm gonna just hit these guys with a little bit more salt. Okay? And then we're gonna have some Boom Boom shrimp sauce as a dipping. Just a little bit. First few I'm gonna eat, you know, by themselves. Then we've also got Thai style sweet chili. Just a little bit. All right. So this is what we're working with. Okay, now these pieces, they have bones in them, but you're supposed to be able to eat them and just crunch through the bones. So, bon appetit.
how small those bones are. This one, I know this is gonna be good. This is one that I was breaded. Hey, don't listen to, you know, what anybody else tells you. If you catch one of these ribbon fish, you got to try it. You got to try it out. Just look at them, man. They're really good. They're fresh. It's not a fishy taste. It's not oily. It's real lean. And they have a crunch to them. And that one wasn't even battered. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. Hopefully you guys learned something today that you can eat a ribbon fish and how to cook it properly, how to prepare it properly. Um, you can fillet it or you can just quarter it up and just fry the shit out of it, man. Just fry the living hell out of it until it's the color of my skin. So take this and put it next to your ribbon fish. And if it's that color, it's good. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these. Let me try some of this sauce. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time on the Adventure Bro Show.